According to the Bible, it rained until the world was covered in water. Such a catastrophe should have left evidence all over the planet in the form of uniform marine sediments spread across the earth and the ocean floor. Devastating global flood? Hello?
Biologist Ian Plymer, after searching across continents, sometimes in the most extreme weather conditions, has found very little evidence. <laughs> blood would leave a signature. It would be a very, very large signature apparent all over the world. <laughs> There is no evidence. In fact, there is only overwhelming evidence to the contrary. <laughs> Direct evidence is only one of the problems with this story. <laughs> the whole idea of a global flood flies in the face of what is known about planet Earth. <laughs> the entire to flood the entire planet to the top of the Himalayas would take five times the volume of water in the oceans. water is in the atmosphere and we know how much water is in the rocks. <laughs> which has happened many times in the geological past, we still do not flood the continents. Geysers present another potentially fatal problem. <laughs> Huge amounts of noxious sulfur-rich gas. could cause the flood. <laughs> space. Comets contain vast amounts of frozen water. <laughs> but to flood the entire planet, the comet this is ridiculous. would have to be 1,000 miles wide. <laughs> if a comet that size hit the Earth, not many people would live to worry about a flood. Hello! <laughs> As they come into the atmosphere, and they explode. There are massive shock waves. Massive areas of forest wiped out. <laughs> Huge extinctions of life from a comet. <laughs> this devastating impact would force the temperature of the atmosphere to rise to 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. We would have had no life to go onto an ark. <laughs> story? Not quite. According to the Bible, Noah's Ark landed in the mountains of Ararat, today in eastern Turkey. The earth was revealed at last, and the animals disembarked after months below decks to repopulate the world. 
So, are there any remains of the Ark? The problem is that the evidence, wood, rots in a matter of centuries. When this piece of wood was found, it was thought to be the clue. This is what we need to show we have Noah's Ark. And so they took the wood to date it. And you can date wood by measuring tree rings or by carbon dating. It wasn't old enough. The wood was from the 8th century, 4,000 years after Noah's time. want desperately to be able to support the Bible in an age of doubt, in a modern rational age. And that desire is so strong that they can rationalize away the overwhelming evidence that there is no boat there and no evidence whatsoever that there ever has been. <laughs> the traditional Noah story may not pass a rational historical test. <laughs> maybe it was never meant to. Biblical scholars using clues in the language used by the Bible agree that the story of Noah was physically written down in the 6th century BC. The scribes who wrote it were Jewish priests who were in exile in Babylon. Maybe they sat down one day to make up a cautionary tale about what happens when people disobey God. stories have some seeds of truth. Maybe the Noah story is an exaggeration, an embellishment of something that really happened. <laughs> 150 years ago, archaeologists made some extraordinary finds in Iraq. Evidence that would rewrite the famous story about Noah and his ark full of animals. Perhaps the Bible never meant a global deluge. Which <laughs> has one word for land and country and earth. And uh, it's easy to suppose that means the whole earth. But it's certainly not. And I think that it was a local flood that is described there. The discovery of these older versions of Noah's story raised a tantalizing possibility. What if they had been inspired by an actual flood? Not a global deluge, but a regional flood in Mesopotamia. <laughs> Sumerian scribes may have embellished it with myths and supernatural events, but there are plenty of practical details too.
priceless in reconstructing a story that's historically plausible. However, it does mean starting afresh. Hello? Uh, hello. It means setting aside the storybook image of the huge ark. <laughs> the global deluge. The number of animals. And the landing on Mount Ararat. Above all, the most obvious difference is how Noah looked. <laughs> robes. Imagine instead a Sumerian from head to toe. Wearing 